Hey there, it's Matt Williams from Olama. Last night, I finally posted the video about 0.0.12, .0 and today I get to post another one about 0.0.13. This one is even bigger than the last one. Just like last time, I have two commands that I'm running, but now it's the other way around. So Olama is 0.0.12 and Ulama is 0.0.13. And to make it easier to say in the video, I'll call 0.0.12 Olama 12, or just 12, and 0.0.13 I'll refer to as Olama 13. Again, that's just to make the video easier to follow. Okay, let's get into it. Models now stay in memory between messages. This is huge. Before, if you had a chat session with Olama, we spent some time loading the model into memory with every single prompt. Now in 13, we're keeping it loaded in memory until you end the session with Olama. So let's ask a few questions in 12. Uh, like, why is the sky blue? Uh, is there is it also green? And uh, what, what happens at sunset? And now let's ask those same questions in 13. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Oh, and did you notice the change in the verbose output? Let's look at one of those from 12. And here we are in 13. You can see a lot more detail now in the output. Next, we expand our compatibility story. Up until 12, we only supported Macs with Apple Silicon. So that's the M1 and M2 chips. Now we've expanded that to Intel Macs, and we're distributing the executable as a universal binary. So no need to choose which platform you're on. And Windows and Linux, that support's gonna be coming soon. When you're in a chat with Olama, you now have a set of slash commands for show. This will let you inspect the current model to find out how it's configured. You can show the license or the system prompt or the template used for the model. Did you know about the slash commands? You can turn on verbose to see stats for each prompt or just use slash help and that'll show you all the commands that are available. You can also now have multi-line strings when you run Olama run. These start and end with three double quotes. This was something that was requested in the Discord, I think. Did you know about the Discord? You can find out about it when you click the Discord link at the top of the Olama.ai website. Now, up until this version, whenever there was a new version, we'd put a dialogue right there, right in front of you announcing the new version. If you chose to not install it, we'd still automatically install it the next time you ran the server. Well, now we'll show you a more subtle hint that an update is ready up there in the menu bar. There isn't really a difference in how we do the update, just how we alert you. This should result in a much better overall user experience. When we first put out Olama and started watching the Discord, we saw a number of folks experiencing crashes with Macs with eight gigs of memory. We fixed most of those issues so that those users should have a better experience going forward. We also fixed some issues when you had multi-line strings in the model file, such as with the system prompt. So that's great to see. And you know, that's pretty much everything new in version 0.0.13 of Olama. I hope to see you all in the Discord now that you know about it, and I really do want to learn about how you are using Olama. Until next time, bye.